Hello, welcome to Free School Exam Preparation. Today, we're going to talk about LXL International AS and A Levels Pure Mathematics 3. In this lecture, we're going to discuss Chapter 5, Integration. Okay, so let's just take a look at this integration here. So we know that integration is a reverse process of differentiation. So you can verify each of these by differentiate the right-hand side. So one thing I want to point out is for this long x. So we write the absolute value sign here to ensure that this x inside here, the long, um, is greater than 0. OK, so maybe we can use this formula to do some exercises. So the first one is from the page 148 and question 1. So we'll just do B, D, F, H, J. So question B is we have the 5EX minus 4 sine X plus 2X cubed DX. OK, so in order to do this one, we'll separate this into three different terms. And then we take out the constant term, so a constant, um, the, const the coefficient. So we have 5EX DX and minus 4 sine X DX and plus 2, and here we have x3 dx. And for this ex, we'll have ex, so we have 5 times ex. And for the sine x, we know it's negative cosine x, so we have plus 4 cosine x. And for x cubed, so we have 4 uh, as a denominator, and then x raised to the power of 4, and plus c. So maybe this one can just write 1 over 2. OK, and for question d, so we have the integration of 3 sec x tangent x and minus 2 over x and dx. OK, so we can separate this. So we have integration of sec x tangent x dx. And then we have minus 2, 1 over x dx. And for this one, we can look at the last formula here. So it will be 3 sec x. And for this, it will be negative 2 long x and we plus a constant c. Okay, let's take a look at question f. So 1 over 2x plus 2 cosec square x dx. So we take out this 1 over 2, so we have 1 over x here, and then we take out this 2, so we have cosec square x. So for this 1 over x, we can use this formula, so it's 1 over 2 long x. And for the square, so minus 2 cotangent x and plus the constant c. And the last one here, oh, actually we have two more. So h, we have e x plus sine x plus cosine x. So if you are familiar with this formula, you don't need to separate this into several terms. So we can write this out directly. So for the first one, we'll have e x. And then we have the integration of sine x, so it's negative cosine x. And for cosine x, so we'll have sine x and plus a constant c. And then we have j. So e x plus 1 over x minus cosec square x. So this one, e x is just e x, and then we have ln x. And minus, um, so this one, integration, is negative cotangent x, so we just write plus cotangent x plus c. Okay, so maybe we can take a look at question 2. So question 2, uh, f. So let me change the color here. So q2, f. So this is on page uh, 148 still. Okay, so we have this cosine x and 1 plus cosec square x, and then dx. OK, so this one we can write as cosine x dx, and then we have this cosine x, and then cosec square x. So cosec square x, we know it's sine square x dx, right? So for cosine x, this one is just sine x. And for this one, we can write as cotangent x and also times, so 1 over sine x, which is cosec x dx. So according to this formula, so we have sine x minus cosec x and plus a constant c. Okay, so now let's take a look at uh, h. So we have this sec square x 
and 1 minus cotangent square x dx. Okay, so for the sec square x here, we can just write this one out. And then minus sec square x cotangent square x. So for this type of question, we don't have formula uh, just to get the result immediately. So that means we need to change some of these uh, terms. So for the first one, it will just be tangent x. And for this one, so we have sec square x cotangent square x. So we can write this one out. So it will be 1 over cosine x. And for this one, it will be cosine square x over sine square x dx. So this can be canceled. So we have tangent x minus the integration of cosec square x. So this one we know is negative cotangent x. So we have tangent x plus cotangent x and plus c. Okay, now let's take a look at question 3D. So we have this 0 and negative pi over 4. And sec x, sec x plus tangent x dx. Okay, so this one we can write as two separate integrals. So we have sec square x dx and plus zero negative pi over four sec x tangent x dx. And for this one, it will be tangent x and x is from negative pi over four to zero. And for this one, we'll have uh, this formula, right? So it will be sec x, which is one over cosine x. So will be from negative 4 to 0. So tangent 0 is 0. Minus tangent negative pi over 4 is negative 1. And this one is cosine 0 is 1. So we have 1 minus 1 over cosine negative pi over 4. So which is uh, square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so we have 2 minus square root of 2. Okay, so that's for question 3. Now let's take a look at another question, which is question four. So this is on page 149. Okay, so we want to um, find out the value of a positive a. So here we have a, 2a, 3x minus 1 over x dx equals to 6 plus long 1 over 2. Okay, so we look at the left-hand side. We can write the left-hand side as 3 dx and minus 2a, a here is 1 over x dx. So this equals to 6 plus long 1 over 2. So this one will be 3x and x is from a to 2a. And this one will be long x because we know it's positive, so we don't need to write the absolute value sign. So it will be from a to 2a. This equals to 6 plus long 1 over 2. This one will be 3, 2a minus a, and minus long 2a, and minus long a, so it's plus long a, and equals to 6 plus long 1 over 2. So we have 3a and minus long, so 2a over a, so it's 2, equals to 6. So now we can change this one into negative long 2. So we know 3a equals to 6, so we have a equals to Okay, now let's take a look at question 7. So it's on page 49. So we have this fx equals to 1 over 8x, 3 over 2, minus 4 over x, x greater than 0. So the first question asks us to solve this fx equals to 0. And then we find out the integration of fx. And finally, we evaluate uh, fx dx is from 1 to 4. So this will be written as p plus q ln r. So p, q, r are rational numbers. So we say it belongs to q. Okay, so how do we do this question? So we'll have this fx equals to 0. So we have 1 over 8x, 3 over 2 equals to 4 over x. So we can times 8x on both sides. So left-hand side will be x, 5 over 2. And right-hand side will be 32, which is 2 raised to the power of 5. Now we look at the uh, 
one fifth as uh, a fifth power, right? So it will be x one over two equals to two. So x will be four. Okay, so that's for question A. For question B, so we do this integration. We can write into two separate part. And minus four, one over x dx. So this one will be one over eight. So n is three over two. So we times three over two plus one. And we have x uh, five over two. And minus four ln x because x is greater than zero. So we don't need to write the absolute value sign. And plus c. So this one will be three uh, two five, right? So we'll have so two is on top. So five's here, right? Two five. Okay, so it will be 1 over 20, and then x5 over 2 minus 4, ln x plus c. So let's look at question c. So from 1 to 4, right? So we have 1 over 20, x5 over 2 minus 4, ln x, and from 1 to 4. So it will be 1 over 20. So 4 we can write as 2 raised to the power of 2, and times 5 over 2 will be 5. Minus 4, ln 4. And minus 1 over 20. And this one will be 0. So we have 32 over 20. Uh, minus 1 over 20. Minus 8, ln 2. So it will be 31 over 20. Minus 8, ln 2. Okay, so we found the values of P, Q, and R. Okay, so that's everything for this lecture. We hope you have enjoyed it and wish you good luck with your exam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Free School Exam Preparation. Thank you.